here is a quick video on packaging your InDesign file and also setting up your PDF to have those bleed and crop marks. So throughout your time here, every time that you are working in InDesign on a project, you are going to need to package that file. You're going to need to do the same exact thing when you're working out in the field. It's extremely important. It keeps everything together nice and neat. Because if you upload just an InDesign file, your images are going to come out blurry and missing to the person who is opening up your file if they don't have all of the assets that go along with it. So whenever you are working with a document that has a bleed, it's extremely important to make a PDF that shows those crop and bleed marks. It's important for the printer, but it's also important for your client to see where things are going to get cut. So I'm going to just make a copy real quick and put this on side two as well, because for week one, we are doing two different covers. And I just wanna make sure I have something on both pages. So first, let's tackle the bleed settings. You're gonna go up to file, and this is really gonna help you out throughout your time here and your time past Independence University. So let's go to file and go to, Adobe PDF presets, and we want to define a preset. Let's click on high quality print and do new. And this is where you can name it. So name it something that makes sense, like crops and bleed marks. And when you get down to compression, you can leave it the same, but go to marks and bleeds and you wanna click on all printer marks and use document bleed settings. And, that, and then just click okay. And click done. So now that setting is in there for you. Next up, what we're gonna do is we are going to package this file. I already know of an error that is going to come up that I specifically did not fix, so I can show you how to fix it when you get that error. So I'm going to go to File, Package, and see how there's a little exclamation point right here? That tells me that something is using an RGB color space and RGB is for web, it is not for print. So I need to figure out what it is. Let's click through. Fonts look good, links and images. Oh, something's happening here. It looks like it's that image of my steak. So I'm just gonna cancel out of this and I'm gonna go to my links and I'm gonna click right here where it says the picture of my steak. And you can see it's a JPEG. And if I open this up, oh, it's RGB. I never made it CMYK. So I'm just gonna click on it right here and click on the little pencil, which is for edit original. And it's gonna pop it open in Photoshop. And right in Photoshop, I can do image mode change it to CMYK, hit OK, and save it. And go back into InDesign. So now when I go into my links, I can check, and it has updated both of those links to be CMYK, so I will not get that error. So then again, I'm going to do a file package and you'll see I don't have that little exclamation point anymore, which is great. Everything looks good. So I'm going to click on the package button and the publication needs to be saved. So I want to save it. And then it's going to show save as assignment one folder because that's what I have my, full, my assignment saved as. So right within week one, you can rename it, you know, to your name and the naming convention that you need to follow. I'm just going to do my name. Now, where it says include PDF print, 
you want to select a PDF preset. So let's go to that preset we just made, that crops and bleeds marks, and select it. And then we're going to click the package button and it's going to do everything for us. It's going to package the file. It's going to find all of our images. It's going to put everything together for us and make that PDF the way our PDF needs to be made. So here we go. Let's open up and take a look. So within that S McNamara folder, I should have an IDML file. That is an old version of an InDesign file. It can be opened up in any version of InDesign, new versions, old versions. I have my actual InDesign file that I created, and then I have my assignment one PDF file, which when you look, here are those crop and bleed marks so I can see exactly where it's going to be cut along with the registration bars. Within the links, I have both of the images used, and if you used any fonts outside of the normal Adobe fonts available on everyone's machine, there would be a fonts folder as well in here. So this is extremely important. Every single time that you change your file in any way, you need to repackage it. So don't forget to do that. Also, click on the whole folder, and you can either control click or right click and you need to compress it. That is going to be what zips that folder, the packaged folder. Make sure that you are submitting the entire zipped package folder, not just the InDesign file inside of the packaged folder. All right, have a great day everyone.